the songs of Motown, but they have lasted throughout generations because of the total weight of, of the artistic measure that they had. They, these weren't just songs. These, these, they had messages of the time. They had great artists delivering. They had all-time great songwriters like Holland, Doja Holland, Ashford and Simpson. A hundred years from now, people will still be listening to those songs. One of the wonderful things that occurred during my first season with American Idol as musical director was that we had the great Barry Gordy come to the set and we did a Motown themed show in which all of the contestants performed you know, Motown songs. And I was very concerned that with him sitting right there that we delivered this, the music with the kind of integrity that he would enjoy because I know how discerning he is about, and this is his stuff. He was discerning when he was creating it, and I'm sure every time it's been performed, you know, over the years, he wanted to make sure, you know, are they doing this stuff right? I grew up also studying Mozart and Beethoven, and as a pianist, I got to Chopin, and so I still have a Polonaise on an A-flat sitting on my piano right now. So I enjoy and know the importance of those classic compositions and the music and orchestral stuff. And I think the world has become, to, has learned to enjoy the classic music of America, and that is jazz. And then the next step is this kind of classic, this is classic music. You know, by, by any definition of the word classic, music that permeates beyond its borders, that has demonstrated longevity. When I say permeate beyond its borders, you know, because if it was intended to be targeted to a demographic, well, certainly going well beyond that. So take a good look at my face. You see my smile.